Hey creative people, welcome back to The End Creates, your online hangout for Cricut crafts, celebration crafts, and whatever crafts I'm inspired to make. Today we're creating a Nintendo Switch Valentine's box, so let's get into it. What you need. For this project, you'll need a large white Valentine's Day mailbox by Creatology, a roll of painter's tape, red, black, and blue acrylic craft paint or the regular acrylic paint, Colorful pop-up stickers from Crafter Square, a styrofoam dowel, a hot glue gun, Crafter Square black permanent vinyl, paintbrush, and scissors. How to make it. We're going to use this Nintendo Switch as our inspiration for this project. The first thing you're going to do is take two long pieces of painter's tape to mark off three separate sections of the box. Now, you're going to want to make sure that your painter's tape is straight and even with the opening in the center of the top. Go all the way down to mark up the sides of the box as well. If your tape doesn't make it all the way down on both sides, you're gonna to need to put another piece of tape on top. Make sure that it is straight again, because when you're painting, you wanna make sure that your, your lines are crisp and sharp and don't have any zigzags in them. Grab your red paint and your paintbrush and paint smooth, even, beautiful strokes all over the first section of the lid of the box. Be sure to paint the sides of the box as well. Now you don't have to paint the part of the box that's underneath the lid because nobody's gonna see that part anyway and also the paint will probably stick to the lid of the box and get messed up. So don't even worry about that part. Paint the third section with blue acrylic craft paint. This is the color Island Blue by Anita's acrylic craft paint. And you're gonna cover the entire section just like we did with the red paint. And make sure to make your strokes smooth and even, same as before. Use as many coats of paint as you need. Now I did two coats of paint for my Valentine box, but do however many is necessary for your paint not to be see-through or have any streaks showing. Get your colorful pop-up stickers and you're gonna paint nine of them with the black acrylic craft paint. I use my hand dryer to help the stickers dry a little faster, but of course that's optional. Remove your painter's tape and you're gonna grab your black acrylic craft paint and your paintbrush and carefully outline the edge of the blue section and the red section with your black paint. Then you're gonna fill the entire thing in. You really shouldn't put the painter's tape on top of the blue or the red paint because it's probably gonna remove some of the paint. So that's why I'm using a post-it note right here just to kind of help me make a straighter line, but do it however you want to because it's your world, boo. <laughs> Cut two slices off your styrofoam roll, probably about a half an inch thick, and you're going to paint them black. In the red section, you're gonna hot glue one of your styrofoam slices at the top, and then right underneath it, you're gonna glue those four Dollar Tree stickers that you painted black in a diamond shape. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing in your blue section, but in reverse. So the styrofoam slice is gonna be at the bottom, and then the four stickers in the diamond shape will be right above that. A little earlier, I spilled a little hot glue in the middle of the black section. And so now I'm trying to remove it. And as I'm removing it, it's pulling off some of the black paint. So I will repaint that in a second. Oh no. That's not good. Finish gluing the remainder of the Nintendo Switch buttons onto your Valentine box. Right here, you can see me retouching the black paint that was removed by the hot glue earlier. Go around your box and touch up any spots that need another coat. Now that the spot where the paint peeled earlier has started to dry, I can see that it needs another coat, so I'm adding just a little more paint. Grab your roll of black Dollar Tree vinyl and measure out a piece that is six inches on one side and four inches on the other. 
You can use a paper trimmer or a pair of scissors to cut it. The piece was a little too wide so I went back to the paper cutter and cut off an inch more of the width. Then repeat all of those steps to make a second piece of vinyl. Now we're going to make the Nintendo Switch screen. Peel out the back end of the vinyl and place it in the center of one of the black sides of the box. You want to place it maybe about a half inch from the top and it's very important to make sure that it's straight. And when you're placing it down, you're going to smooth it out real good and make sure to fold the excess inside of the box's opening. Right here, I'm touching up a spot of missing paint. Now repeat the last few steps to create the bottom half of the screen. All right, it's looking cute so far, but I wanna add just a few more details to make it really look good. With the scraps of honor, you're gonna cut out a small square to make the capture button, and you're gonna put it just below the directional buttons on the red side of the box. Then cut out a tiny little rectangle to put at the top right corner of the red section. Cut out a small circle and put it just below the right stick to the left side to create the home button. Cut out a tiny little plus sign and put it in the top left corner of the blue section. It's time for the big reveal. And there it is, we made a really cool Nintendo Switch box to put all of your kids' Valentine's Day cards in. So until the next time, I hope that you continue to add a little more creativity to the world and keep coming back because you never know what I'll be creating next. Bye guys.